teach down, not up. A lot of you cats always email me and ask, and you know you have friends who, when you try to put them on to what's going on and how to see this chip game, you know what I'm saying, people kind of ignore you. They kind of uh, don't really care. They want us to be caught up in the fame of trying to look like they got something instead of actually building something towards that. So this podcast is my my full response to how you should go about handling, uh, you know, putting people on the game, man. It's, it, don't waste your time on people, you know what I'm saying? And, and the easiest way for me to tell you is, like I said in the title, teach down, not up. Look, it's easier for a young man to want to be in a man's position than it is for a man to teach another man how to get out of his bad position, you dig? So what you have to do at all times when you're trying to put people up on money or anything like that, you have to really think about where these people are in life, all right? Uh, The broke dude will listen to the dude with cash. He don't care how he got to get it. He will listen. You know what I'm saying? The young man will listen to the older man if the older man actually has cash in his pocket, um, has a car that he wants, has a girl that he likes. Um, You have to look at your position when you're talking to other people and see if you could put them on according to their means. You dig? You got to think about what they really want. Now, this is not for everybody. Some of you cats are going to get frustrated because, you know, uh, trying to help people out is a a full-time job, homie. It's a forever thing. You know, once people know you as a dude who has the answers, uh, take it from me, young partner. Uh, you know, people keep sending me emails, and it don't bother me. I, I signed up for the job, homie. I don't mind. Uh, but a lot of people, they get really, really pissed off um, that people aren't learning as fast as, you know, let's say I would learn. So if you tell me something about some hustle, some money-making angle, I might pick it up extremely fast, man, because my mind is already in tune with trying to make chips you know what i'm saying you don't have to break barriers with me homie you don't have to make me conquer myself in order to get to the chips um a lot of people they still have that issue you're gonna have to prove to them that your way is better than their way so for y'all who don't really want to do that who don't really want to go through the struggle and strife of trying to teach people teach down homie teach people who are, are not beneath you teach people who don't have the chips like you do teach people that want to have hustle like you have hustle uh pass on the knowledge to the youngins homie if all the youngins at eight years old or something you know what i'm saying the children to the game they they really really will be on that block with you you keep thinking that you need your friends to go with you you actually need your niece you understand what i mean she she's just gonna go with you because she thinks that's what you do your your nephew's gonna go with you even if he gets mad at you he's gonna go because it's exciting and he get to get out the house and stop playing xbox you dig so you have to learn who to teach to now a lot of people um older cats when i'm talking about older cats i mean older than me stacy adams crocus sacks you know what i'm saying uh they choose who they want to put on you know what i'm saying and i think that's backwards knowledge backwards hustle um to sit here and be uh go around picking people um I think everybody younger than you wants the game, no matter even if they pay attention to it now or uh, pick it up a little bit later. They're going to be very happy that someone laced them at a very early age. So the older cats, you always hear that, you know, I would tell you, but you don't look like you have enough effort or you're not making a big enough effort to get it. And you know what I'm saying? If you got to come over here, you're going to have to do it this way and you're going to have to walk like me, talk like me. You're going to have to really just drop all your dumbness and come be smart like me. That doesn't help anybody, man. That's the reason why most of most black folks and a lot of folks all over the world, I don't want to just keep putting on black folks because I'm black. You know why there's no passing down of information because the cats with the information are choosing who they want to give the information to instead of actually just saying, okay, you know what? It's a lot of people out here. You know, I'm just going to put them all up on game, man. The people who are going to pick up the ball and run with it, that's, that's a whole nother story. And that's a whole nother podcast. But the other people, they got to have a little bit of it. See, what I do is I see the game this way. I'm going to give you everything I know, knowing that some of y'all cats ain't even going to get up and try it. But hopefully you pass it down to your children, homie. Hopefully you pass it down to the go-getters, the kings of your family who are coming up. Um, I don't necessarily believe in you. I believe in the process. That's another podcast, too. But you know what I'm saying? It's a, a, a thing of knowing how to approach people knowing how to give this information when i was growing up uh 
I, I really was under the tutelage, and I don't want to say tutelage in that way, but you know, I was under cats who were really would do anything for money. So as a result of being around cats who would do anything for money, uh, my understanding of money is not locked into the books that somebody taught me or a profession. My understanding of money is tied into, hey, if uh, my boy who's a mechanic, he gets these cars on salvage, he buys them for 500, he sells them for 3,000, um, he's making 2,500 all the time. You know what I'm saying? He's making five G's off of two cars. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's some, that's five G's right there. That's more than what most people were making outside. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I got friends who grew up selling dope. That don't really count because there is no other replacement for selling cocaine. I don't know what a, you know. I don't know what you can do to, to move money that fast. But just the whole atmosphere of people who want to make money, uh, candy houses. Uh, people selling barbecue, people selling dinners, people selling things at the church. You know, this is what I grew up in in Compton. So I got a very diverse understanding of chips. It's a very young age. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I teach in that same understanding that it, it doesn't matter, you know, how I talk to you about chips. As long as I keep the money in the conversation, as long as we're talking chips all the time you can't help it like I can't help but to see how things make money because I've seen so many people do it in so many different ways you know what I'm saying that whole going to work and and waiting on a check thing I, I just didn't grow up in that I grew up around people who went out and did something so it's you know going to work I guess it just never really appealed to me I understand I have to make money and I'll go to work but it never appealed to me so when I say teach down not up young homie for all of y'all who's dealing with this right now Put the idea out there. You know what I'm saying? Did you know that, uh, uh, you know, Def Jam is really owned, distributed by the same dudes who run Sony? If, if the dude that you're talking to, his eyes don't pop up a little bit, like, dang, I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? So who is the Japanese dude who's really making money off of everybody? You know what I'm saying? If they don't pop up a little bit, hey, homie, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Finish your conversation, but don't get mad that they don't understand game, homie. I told you, in this life, there will people build people who will just always be customers homie they will always be watching the e channel they will always worry about who's getting married in england what's happening to the royal families did you see what michelle obama's wearing <laughs> did tiger woods really sink that putt you will have customers in this game for the rest of your life homie so when you go out there and try to put people up homie you gotta see now when you teach down to the youngins to the kids homie they have to listen See, this is the difference between teaching to a man to man and a kid. A kid has to listen because if I tell my nephew something, he can't really get out the car, can he? He can't really escape the hustle. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they want to escape it. They want to say, you know, I know I could be doing this. I could be doing that. So what I do with anybody who's substantially younger than me is I engage them in a money making conversation at all times. Uh, my nephew, my nieces, we have been talking business since they were three years old. What do you think about this? And then somebody, one of them, give me a call and say, Uncle, you know, this is what, uh, what I was thinking about this kind of business. And we talk money. We talk real money. How are we going to make money out of this? It's a great idea. How much of our cost, how much money are we going to make out of this? And then they all fall back and say, yeah, I guess it's not a good idea. I said, no, it's not. It's a great idea. Great ideas need to make money. You know what I'm saying? So just because people have an umbrella, an umbrella is a great idea. It's raining. But if somebody doesn't sit back and say, how can we get them for a quarter and sell them on the street for a dollar like most of your hustlers do, you know, that's the, that's the next step in chips. Most people just say, that's a great idea, baby. You got to, you know, you're going to be an excellent entrepreneur one day. You know what I'm saying? Me, I go the other way and say, yeah, that's a hell of an idea. You know what I'm saying? But let's see how can we make chips. Let's get on Alibaba.com. Let's see what we're talking about. Let's see now the email. Let's see what we can do. Let's see how much hard work it's going to take, how much labor we're going to have to put into it you know and all this other stuff I'm not expecting them to start a business I'm expecting them to tell me after let's make popsicles how are we gonna sell them how much they're gonna cost how what do you think is the best flavors I'm getting their brain thinking about money all the time not that kid stuff not that young man hey how you doing well I'm talking about real chips here partner even at a young age so when you talk to your young nieces nephews anybody under the age of 16 before they start turning into knuckleheads you dig you can go and grab their hand and make them come out on that corner and sell water with you 
You know what I'm saying? Don't think I haven't done this to my family, homie. Don't think we don't sit there and figure this thing out together and go outside and see what we can do. Because I got to get them over that fear of making money. Now, for the rest of you cats who are dealing with people your age, I'm going to tell you exactly how I talk to any man my age. All I can do is offer him, did you ever think of this? You understand what I'm saying? That's it, it, That's all I can do for uh, another man because it's, a lot of these cats, they get intimidated when they see somebody talk about chips and then they start getting into their own ego and saying, I know better than Freeman. And, you know what I'm saying? What do he got that I got? And, you know what I'm saying? Instead of concentrating and focusing on, we talking chips. We not talking about me, partner. We talking about how we can make a million. We not talking, who cares who came to the game with the lane, partner? Let's make this money. You understand what I'm saying? So you're going to run into a lot of dudes and the way I talk to them is say, have you ever thought about this? You understand what I mean? And I never shut any idea down. Anybody come with me to idea, come to me with any idea, I never shut it down. I say, you know what, I don't see how we're going to make money out of it. And then I kind of keep going with it and say, okay, I think it's a great idea, but look, where are we going to get this from? The same conversation I'm having. But you got to understand that when you're talking man to man, peer to peer, somebody who around your same age, if not older, and they feel that they're on a good track, and you coming around here telling them, you know, you, let's, let's, let me give you an example. There's a lot of cats who got a good job. You know, no disrespect to them. I had a good job. I like having good jobs too. You understand what I mean? But when you come to a man who has a good job and you tell him that his job's not good because we could be making the same amount of money selling bottles of water on a corner, you know, it takes a special man, a, a, a strong man to say, you know what, I understand what you're saying. The chips, I could make more chips out there. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? But most of the dudes are going to get insulted. Because they went to college and they got a graduate degree and they've been kissing butt and talking to Molly Maxu, Bill Brad and Todd all day, you know what I'm saying? And they've been hustling and they've been pushing, they've been corporate hustling, like I told you, which doesn't exist. Um, you know, they've they've been doing all this stuff for a long time and here I come to them saying, Hey man, you making six, seven grand, I'm gonna show you how to make ten. And you know what, man, you don't even have to dress up no more, homie. You don't even have to do none of that stuff. You know, follow me, listen to what I got to say, let me pull your ear, let me pull your coat a little bit, partner, let me put you up on this. Now, a lot of cats will just say, oh man, the hell with you, Freeman, man, I, I'm making good money, I really don't want to do that. You know, so when I talk to that cat, I just, I just try to plant the seed, homie, I try to tell him, it's money out here. If you ever get tired of, uh, of uh, playing them games, homie, hit me up, you got my number, you know what I'm about, let's, let's do it when, when the time comes. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I don't even bother with it. Because a lot of cats just don't, don't, uh, they know where they are, homie. A lot of cats know that they're not making as much money as they should be making. And they don't, they really just don't like the feeling that you're coming up and telling them there's more money out here. You should be thinking bigger. You know, you work for this company. Why don't you build this company? You know all the game. Why are you still giving it away? They, they don't really have a good answer for that. They know in their heart, deep down, that I'm smarter than everybody in here, but yet I'm getting paid like I'm, uh, you know, like I'm a rookie in this game. They know where they are. So the best thing you can do as a man is you don't, you offer, have you thought about this? Look what I came across. Let me tell you what I was working on. Let me show you the angle that did. Did you know they making chips like that over there? You see how I'm switching it up, young partner? I'm giving them, did you know, what are your things? How about this? Well, did you ever think of this? Man, you got that. You got that knack, homie. Anybody else doing it that way? You see how I'm not coming at him man to man. I'm coming at him with the opportunity in hand. You dig what I'm saying? I'm talking about chips. I'm not talking about him. I'm not talking about me. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're going to ever teach up what I tell you, I discourage you to do. If you're going to have these conversations with people who are your age, you 17, they 17, you 21, they 21, unless you got a whole bunch of money in your pocket, they not going to really listen because they're going to say, man, I seen when you were out there talking to that woman over there, man, you don't look like you got your whole game together. They mix enough that the man is out here who could talk, who doesn't have the game to talk to women, doesn't have the knack with the chips. But those are two separate things, man. They're not even related. One is related. Let me give you the real definition. Money is all about what I can do for myself, what I can do, what you can do, young partner out here on these streets, make money for yourself, create a business, do all your paperwork. When you deal with any kind of other people, whether it be women or, or even in business and all these other things, that's that's the wild card, homie. You don't know what she's going to do today. You dig? You don't know what she's going to come at you with. When you have other people in your mix, homie, 
it's, it's a wild card. When you have to depend on yourself, it ain't so wild, homie. We get up and we go and take care of business. So a lot of people mix it up. They see a man with, with torn shoes and say he ain't about money. That has nothing to do with chips. It has nothing to do with his brain. You see what I'm saying? So don't, don't get caught up in that. But that's what you're going to run into when you talk to anybody around the same age as you. They're going to say, what have you done? What have you built that would make me uh, respect you? And even if you did build it, homie, they get intimidated by the fact that, you know what I'm saying, your lane works and their, their lane got them, you know what I'm saying, with orange cones on the side of the street, homie. They got them slowed down. So you got to know that. So to wrap this all up or to rewind it at least, teach down, meaning anybody you have an advantage over chip wise, they might listen. Anybody that is way younger than you, put your kids up on game, put your nieces, nephews up on game, talk to the dude walking down the street, the little 13 year old dude who you see got the knack, homie. If you would have saw me when I was younger, you know I had the knack. I'm washing cars, I'm picking up trash, I'm going, I'm doing all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, one of the cats told me I would be up at five in the morning washing people's cars, and one of the cats told me, "Say, hey, you know, Freeman, you gonna you gonna make it, man. I know you are. You know what I'm saying? Because you always out here, no matter what, you willing to come out here and work." And I remember when I was like 13, 14, when all of us were thinking about getting a job at McDonald's or whatever. One of my friend's mothers came out and stood out on the stoop and said, "Yo, you know." Freeman, I know you're going to make it. That whole family, y'all full of dudes who make it. Y'all just go and find a job. Y'all go after the money. You see what I'm saying? So I, they know. I, this is just amongst the hood in Compton, homie. They know I was trying to make money. There ain't no day, no mistake about it. So when you see a young cat like that, he, we eager, homie. We eager to understand how to make more money. We know we not in a good position. We know we 13 years old. And, this, and nobody expects us to have a C note in our, in our pocket. But I did. You know what I'm saying? May the hustle bless you, man. Bless them with the hustle that you understand. Don't waste the time trying to put on grown people. Let them learn the way they always learn. Most suckers will learn when they get burned. You understand what I'm saying? Let me say that over to you. Most suckers will learn when they get burned. When you pull up a young dude who's, who's making millions of dollars and an old dude who's 10 years older than him could have did the exact same thing, he will only adjust his mentality when he realized, man, I could have did that. I had the same knowledge as homeboy. I just didn't go out there and do it. A lot of people got to get burned to a crisp, homie. You understand what I'm saying? They got to go to the point where, where, you know what I'm saying, they just get burned all the time and they feel bad because they can't conquer themselves and get to that next point and make this money. So a lot of things you're going to have to learn is it's harder to teach up. Don't waste your time. You know what I'm saying? Sprinkle people, put people on a game, introduce them to the chips, and walk away. Don't ex have any expectations for them to follow up. You know what I'm saying? Give them the spread, you dig? Show them what's going on in this world. Show them what the money is about. If they don't come, let them die. You know what I'm saying? We need customers, homie. Somebody got to buy my, uh, what's that called? Somebody got to buy my, uh, my snack chips. You dig? That's what somebody has to do. No matter what happens, somebody's going to have to come out here and say, I want to sit here and, and do all this stuff and make all this money. And that's the thing you have to learn. So we need them to be customers. So let me wrap it up this time because I really want to wrap it up. Teach down. Don't teach up. Teach the people who you can teach because they want to be like you. Because they see that you're on the right road because you got that knack, homie. Teach them. But don't be don't be selfish with the game. Sprinkle it to everybody, even to the to the haters, homie. Because you know, hate is a temporary situation. Hate is a form of ignorance. You know what I'm saying? That they see that you have something they 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 don't think they can have. Once they think they can have it, they're gonna come right back up to you and apologize and say, yo, thanks for putting me up on that. Because you know what I'm saying, I was struggling and you looked out for me. You gotta have some loyal soldiers with you when you put people up. But until then, homie, don't look around for any friends in this game. Don't look around for anybody to understand it. They don't. That's why they look at you and think you did something magical. Are you conning somebody? Are you stealing somebody? You know, stealing from someone. You know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind. Teach down, not up. Next time, partner.